Are you wondering? When is the best time to have children? According to Russian President Vladimir Putin, it might be during your work breaks. In an effort to combat Russia's declining birth rate, Putin has suggested that Russians use their breaks for sexual activity. Currently, Russia's fertility rate is only around 1.5 children per woman, well below the 2.1 needed for population. Stability, this proposal comes at a critical time for Russia as the country is facing a significant demographic challenge. Over 1 million mainly young Russians have emigrated due to the ongoing conflict with Ukraine, exacerbating the decline in population. Putin has stressed that increasing the population is a top priority for the nation, as Russia's future depends on its birth rate. Supporting Putin's call, Russian Health Minister Yevgeny Shestopolov has dismissed concerns about busy work schedules and suggested that people can use their break times for procreation. While some may question the feasibility of this idea, the urgency of the situation cannot be ignored. Russia's birth rate has reached its lowest point since 1999 with the decline of 16,000 births in the first half of 2024 compared to the previous year. This decline is coupled with a sharp rise in deaths largely attributed to the ongoing conflict. In addition to the controversial sex at work scheme, the Kremlin has introduced various measures to encourage higher birth rates. These measures include fertility checks for women, financial incentives for young mothers, and stricter abortion and divorce policies. The government officials hope that by implementing these measures, they will be able to reverse the declining birth rate. Moreover, politicians like Anna Kuznetsova and Jana Rebtseva have urged women to start having children at younger ages to increase the number of births. It is speculated that Putin's personal example of having a large family might be influencing these policies, as he is known to have multiple children. If current trends continue, Russia's population is projected to decline from 144 million to around 130 million by 2050. This decline would have severe implications for the country's future. To avoid such a scenario, the Russian government is taking decisive actions to encourage higher birth rates and reverse the downward trend in population. In conclusion, the declining birth rate in Russia has prompted President Putin to suggest using work breaks for sexual activity as a means to combat the issue, with the fertility rate falling to unsustainable levels and emigration exacerbating the situation. The Russian government is implementing various measures to encourage higher birth rates. The urgency of the situation cannot be ignored as the future of the nation depends on maintaining a stable population.